hi everyone in this tutorial we will start the actual development of web apps in streamlit and uh, first of all uh, you just need to import your streamlit okay and here i just need to write imp or import streamlit streamlit and i will import it as st okay so most of programmer here use sl but uh, i use here st because yeah streamlit or st so it totally depends upon you but the convention is to use sl and uh, i really recommend to you that you should use sl but i will use st okay so after importing this streamlit uh let's save it and let's run it and see what we will get okay so just click on the run and here you will see one thing and that is nothing okay so we got nothing and the reason is that uh, in order to run every streamlit application instead of clicking on this run button you need to type uh, a line in the terminal and that is s-t-r-e-a-m-l-i-t streamlit then you need to write r-u-n here and then you need to type your file name in which you will develop your web application and in this case my file name is this man.py okay so i will write here m-a-i-n man dot p-y and then i will hit enter and here you will see we will get this type of output and yeah now i have this uh, streamlit application and it is hosted on this local host and this is the port okay port number and this is this is basically a representation of my 192.168.10.1 ip address okay so uh, now uh, currently it is hosting my web app on my local ip address okay and if i open my this vs code here you will see that local url in, is this and my network url is this okay so this is how streamlit application work and so i think that it will be better if i decrease the size of my vs code as well and if i decrease the size of my browser as well okay so if you do not get uh, such type of uh, what i say orientation you just need to uh, maximize the browser and uh, just hold on your windows button and just use your arrows key where you want to align your browser or your any other window so i will align my browser on my uh, right side so i will press my right arrow button and uh, if i again maximize this and uh, i will align my this uh, uh, vs code on my left side so i will again hold my windows button and uh, i will hit my left arrow okay and this is how you can put two windows side by side okay so i think now we will get a better output so uh, let me close this vs code as well okay so we are now successfully importing the streamlit this means that uh, everything is working fine and first of all uh, i will just create a simple title on my this uh, uh, streamlit web application okay so i will write here sd.title title okay and here uh, you need to define your body and in this case the body of the title is a string okay and i will say hi uh, i am strem streamlit web app okay and just save it okay and here you will see that source file changed okay you can rerun it or you can uh, press this always rerun okay so i will go with always rerun hit this always rerun and this is what our title will look like okay so this is our cool title hi i am streamlit application and i have created this cool title with the help of a single line which is purely written in python and that is sd.title okay uh, so this is how you can develop your web application using streamlit okay and now uh, let's create uh, uh, maybe a subheading or a text okay or let's go with the subheading first okay so sd.subheader subheader and i will write here uh, hi uh i am your uh, sub header okay so b h e d e i am your sub header save it and it will uh, return it uh, automatically and yeah this is my sub header hi i am your sub header so this is our sub header and now let's go with uh, i think i should explain header as well so right here sd dot 
uh, H E A D R header. Okay, and I will say uh, I am H E A D R. I am header. Save it, and this will return automatically. And yeah, this is my output which is i am header so this is uh, there is a minor difference between this subheader and this header okay and now if you want to write a simple text okay you just need to write st dot txt text okay and this is just like a paragraph tag in html so if you uh, are a little bit familiar with with html so this dot text function act lies like a paragraph tag okay so i will say uh, hi uh, I am text function if you NCT on it function and P R O G R A double M E R programmer U S E S uses uh, uses me uh, in place of P A R A G R A P H paragraph T A G text save it and yeah hi i am text function and programmers uses me in place of paragraph text so this is how uh, this dot text function work okay and i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this uh, short or a ba very basic tutorial uh, regarding streamlit development and i will see you in the next tutorial where we will discuss some further functions and methods of streamlit and i will see you in that tutorial Till that point, bye bye.